فكانت الأمور أسهل مما كنا نتصور رغم أن هذا المكان كان له أهمية The video you just watched likely takes place somewhere in Syria given the active regions of Al-Nusra. Although I don't have a direct translation available, I would assume his speech specifically was speaking about the socioeconomic impacts on the auto blow with relation to the tinder industry. Regardless, his speech is cut short when mortars land literally within feet of him, presumably keeping us from his wisdom forever. What's the Al-Nusra front? Let's dive in for a second and talk a little bit about Al-Nusra's origins. The Al-Nusra Front, or the Front of the Supporters of the People of Syria or the Levant, was technically formed in December 2011 when two Al-Nusra suicide bombers attacked military intelligence facilities in Damascus, killing 44 and injuring over 150. You see, that same year, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the leader of Al-Qaeda in Iraq, sent an AQI operative, Abu Muhammad al-Julani, to Syria to organize jihadist cells. Al-Julani would go on to found the Al-Nusra Front as what was, for a short time, known as Al-Qaeda in Syria. Although the group conducted that first attack in 2011, they didn't formally declare their existence until January, closely following in the next year, 2012. Although its origins and early alignment can be attributed to Al-Qaeda in 2013, Al-Nusra and Al-Qaeda started picking at each other when AQI's leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi claimed that Al-Nusra was part of the Islamic State. Al-Baghdadi's leadership below him maintained that Al-Nusra was an independent AQ branch, and after a period of tensions, Al-Nusra began targeting the Islamic State. Now, the Islamic State began capturing Al-Nusra's oil fields, and they also presumably had a whole bunch of old-school KY jelly fights in a big old blow-up pool, because by 2014, Al-Nusra had aided in driving out the Islamic State from Raqqa with Arara Sham. Fast forward to 2016, and after being shamed for having global aspirations with AQI by Arara Sham, Rather than focusing specifically on Syrian unity, Al-Nusra ended its affiliation with AQ and changed its name to Jabhat Fatah al-Sham, or easier, the front for the conquest of the Levant. Now, even after that rebrand and just to further solidify the stagnant pond water that you already thought this was, Arar al-Sham and Fatah al-Sham started having issues with each other, remembering they go way back, and they were capturing each other's fighters. They eventually made up, don't worry, they had an identity crisis again though in 2017 and decided to change their name to Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, or shorter Tahrir al-Sham. They also began accepting mergers with some of the smaller factions also acting like big old Richards out there. Now that's the quick and dirty background of the Al-Nusra Front or whatever they're called today. Hit the like, hit the sub, hit the bell and stay informed.